Hello everyone, in this video, I am going to discuss using Stable Diffusion and Comfy UI for the e-commerce jewelry accessory niche. Recently, I created a workflow that I am currently testing. As you can see on my Patreon page, I have posted demo results. I'm using a jewelry product image and a model image as input references and transforming them into a more interesting image for product showcasing in your online store. The mask area will be the placement for the products, the jewelry in this case, and I will demonstrate how to achieve that in this video. Also, I try to make this workflow simpler and easier for more people to understand. I am going to break down this workflow in two steps. Like previously, we did the Stable Diffusion's IP Adapter V2 Outfit Changes Workflow workflow for the e-commerce fashion niche, and this time, we are doing the workflow for jewelry and accessory product demo images. This is the demo product that I grabbed from one of the products on Amazon. As you can see, the shape and everything are very complex, making it quite challenging for examples like this to perfectly generate the product into the mask area of the model's image using AI. This is their image from the Amazon page as well. However, this appears to be a generated image as well. The actual product does not look exactly the same as what is shown. It's difficult to expect the same product image to be simply chopped and replaced in the desired area flawlessly. Nevertheless, there is an opportunity for enhancement and manual refinement after the image is generated. When generating an image like this, combining the shape of this diamond crystal necklace, it will take on a form similar to this one effectively creating a new image for the product to demonstrate in your e-commerce store. Yes, the heart shape remains, even though I generated it multiple times using random seeds. I generated four versions, each time with a different outfit. Although I used the candy and the line art pose to maintain the character's pose and background, you can pick one of the four image results from here. For example, this one is the closest we can use as the product showcase image because the heart shape looks quite similar to the original in this one. If we have something like this, we can bring it to a photo editor. For instance, a straightforward option for online entrepreneurs and e-commerce entrepreneurs would be to use Canva, which is easy to use for editing photos and images. Let's wait for the upscaler to finish and we will bring the upscaled image to Canva and check it out. For example, we have four upscaled images here, and I'm going to bring this one. This one looks nice, and the clothing and everything appear sharp and eye-catching if displayed on an e-commerce website with a white background. Let's save this one, and I will go to Canva and run it. We are in Canva now, and I have two images of what we just did in Comfy UI. This model image was generated by the workflow and it is just upscaled, although it may not be the same size or dimension as what I did in Comfy UI. However, it's okay for demonstration purposes. I won't go into too much detail. Here, as you can see, I have resized the original product image from the full size to a smaller one. We will be doing some photo editing and placing it on top of the generated jewelry. But don't get me wrong, this is not the complete finished result yet. Some people might wonder why I'm just putting this in a photo editor. The reason is that I want to do one more refinement, which is to have the exact same crystal likeness on top of the model, and I want to place it perfectly. We also have to cut off the background of this one. Sometimes we have some necklaces with stainless steel or other materials like silver, and you can remove that as well. So we'll do a little fine refinement for your product image, but this is not the final step yet. We have to bring it back to Comfy UI for the next step and regenerate one more time with the whole image and you'll have a good product image. Let's say we've done everything here, but it might look awkward if you compare the AI generated one, which blends into the image with the actual product placed on top of it. It would look odd and it doesn't blend into the image itself. So what we are going to do is regenerate one more time in Comfy UI, do some refinement, and we will have a complete image. Let's save this one, and we will bring it to Comfy UI. Okay, so back in Comfy UI, I've tried generating a few more times to see if I can get a good image, 
but it doesn't seem like we've had any luck yet. Here's another one. Okay, this is better than the previous one. But then, I just want to test if this is fully functional. Then, I'm going to save this workflow. I will call this workflow step one because we will need another workflow for the refinement. So I'm going to save this workflow and call it step one. And then we will clean up this diagram and start a new one for our image refinement. First, we are going to load the default workflow diagram and we will use the load image node for our exported image that we just did in the photo editor. In my case, I did my photo editing in Canva. So if you're using Canva, you can download it after finishing your photo editing and you'll bring this into the load image node here. Some people have asked me in the comment sections how to load an image or video in Comfy UI. Okay, so basically, it's going to be a drag and drop from your Windows Explorer. For example, in my case here, I have a Windows Explorer window and I have image one, the one I just saved, and I drag that into Comfy UI. So that's how easy it is to load an image into the load image custom node in Comfy UI. Secondly, we are going to use the load image on this one to serve as the source image for our refinement image in this workflow step. Okay, so after loading the image, we are just using the VAE encode node here and connecting the image as pixel input and using our checkpoint models. In our case, I'm using the realistic visions and there's a VAE built into this checkpoint model which I'm using for the VAE data. We pass the latent image data into the DDPM sampler and it will generate our image for the first run. In this case, in the DDPM sampler, I'm using 0.2. Well, I do not recommend you go over 0.25 or something like that. If you are doing 0.25 or above, then your image will start looking different from your source image. So in our case, I don't want too much difference after the diffusion and all the noise transforming the image into a different look. That is not going to be okay for the e-commerce product itself. I want to keep everything mostly the same. However, I want to refine and perform a refinement on the products so that the image looks blended into one piece rather than obviously appearing as a copy and paste layover on top of another image. In here, we are going to use 0.2 or 0.225. We are going to stay within this range and keep everything mostly the same, which should be good enough. I like to start with a fixed seed number. So when there's a good image, I will keep that. Later on, we will do another latent upscaler or just upscale the image if it is perfect. In the text prompt, I don't need to type anything because we are relying entirely on the loaded image as the source image to generate the noise in the latent space and use that for the sampler to generate another image sampling. Let's say I don't want the loaded image, I'm using the preview image and let's see what we are going to get. Click prompt Q prompt and it will start loading. It is just generated and it looks blended a little better. However, the heart is starting to change, as you can see. So we have to test the denoise. Sometimes even like 0.15 or 0.16 will be better. Yes, something like that. Then it will keep the original image, but we have better refinement on everything. We put 20 more sampling steps here. So maybe we can test over different settings in this sampler case. Different products have different settings, so we cannot just use the same numbers every time for all products. This one looks okay because we have kept the green crystals and the silver shape of the design remains the same. If you put this on your Shopify store or Amazon, it will still look like the original product. Not a fully focused close-up shot, but a general product showcase that looks much the same as the original product. That can be the demo showcase of your product and we can do upscaling from here. For example, I can do an upscaler, and this time, I don't like to use the ultimate upscaler because it will change our image's look. Right now, I prefer to use the CR upscale image, which is more straightforward, 
It is coming from the Comfy Roll Studio. This is a custom node that you can download in the Comfy UI Manager. Download this one and it's more straightforward. You don't have to wait for the upscale layers to load multiple times. Of course, you can set the rescale factors for how many times you want this to be larger. In my case, I set it to two times, which is good enough. And the resize width, I can set it to like 1050 width and keep the rescale factor at two. That is good enough and I don't need to use ultra sharp this time. I'm using Illustration Gen IE. This one looks a little better than just using the ultra sharp upscaler model. And connecting the image data to here, we got the output data in here. So basically that is a very simple workflow, but I chopped it off into two different workflow files to load this so it's easier to handle because you need to do some photo editing and come back. So you got step one and step two working in this workflow. There you go. This is the upscaled image of this product demo AI image. I would say I cannot say this is a photo. And so this is how you can use one image, a product image, and generate more showcases in your e-commerce store without boring white background product images. Because mostly what we get is like this one. This is what we mostly see in lots of e-commerce stores or maybe a close-up shot of a lady wearing a necklace like that. But that is kind of, you know, not very eye-catching for consumers rather than having better faces or characters wearing your jewelry or accessories, providing more product demonstrations that will be more interesting for customers. So there you go. This is another step of this workflow. Step two, and this is the e-commerce jewelry and accessories workflow in Comfy UI. So take a look at this. I will be posting that in the Patreon group as well. This workflow was just a first draft version of it, so please leave a comment and likes if you want this workflow to have new update version with further development. Just try that and work around with a photo image editor and enhance it to blend more into the actual image like that. I think it will help improve your product conversion rate, so I will see you guys in the next videos. Have a nice day. Goodbye.